And here's a little gift from me to you. 24 little videos. Papa Flammy's Advent Calendar. Oh, I, a, 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 ha, he, he. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. You might have already heard it in the introduction, but it's time for something special. Papa Flemmy's advent calendar. So you see here in Germany and maybe other parts of the world it's quite usual to get an advent calendar as a child, as an adult, whatsoever. With a little piece of chocolate in it, starting from the 1st of December to the 24th of December, you're going to get something every day, you could say. A little gift for you. And you see, we recently hit 30,000 subscribers and the channel is still growing. <laughs> Third of 100,000 subs and still growing. <laughs> Pyro, my boy. Yeah, and I'm just so grateful that you help keeping this channel alive and that you show your support. It doesn't matter if you buy my merch, if you support me on Patreon, if you're just a casual viewer. I love you guys, appreciate you. And here's a little gift from me to you. 24 little videos ranging from 3 to hopefully only 7 minutes per video. From the 1st to 24th of December with something really big at the end. A little Christmas present. And yeah, we are going to start off slowly today with a proof that pi is indeed greater than e, strictly greater at that. So you see, you can type it into Wolfram Alpha and it's going to spit out, that's true. But this is not the point. We are going to do it mathematically, rigorously. And you see, quite a while back we have found a boundary for pi, a lower bound. Namely that pi is indeed strictly greater than 22 over 7. And if you take a closer look, What's less than 22 over 7? Well, 21 over 7. So you can easily see this by cancelling out the 7th. 22 success of 21, so it's strictly bigger. Okay, so for us, it's enough to show now, due to the transitivity of this order relation right here, that this 3 right here is indeed greater than our e or equal. It doesn't matter. So if this is greater than 3 and 3 is greater than e, then pi is going to be greater than e. Naturally, try it out for yourself with natural numbers. It does make sense actually. So let's go ahead. We're going to use the check hammer approach, just like with this pi right here, this estimation. It has been inspired by this. So we are going to take a look at a little integral, namely the one from 1 to e of the natural log cubed of x dx. Why does this make sense? Why is this a good choice? Well, you see, natural log of x between 1 and e is going to be, let's take a look at the graph, it's going to be completely positive. And you see in integrals just the area under this curve right here, so this area is also going to be a positive amount. Also, if this integrand natural log of x is greater or equal than 0, then we can just cube both sides and that's still a positive integrand over a positive interval, making this whole integral or equal to zero. So we have already done something good. We have introduced a little order relation. We have found a lower bound for our integral. And now we can just go ahead and solve this right here. We have to do integration by parts several times. It's quite painful, but it's easy. So we need something to differentiate and something to integrate, plus, minus. And you see, we don't know how to integrate natural cubed, so why not differentiate that? natural log cubed of x, and if we differentiate that, well, just use the power rule and then the chain, chain rule, the chain rule, this is going to be 3 ln squared of x over x. And what do we want to integrate? Well, something is just 1 times something, so we are going to integrate 1, this is going to be x. Okay, multiplying this together, taking the integral of this thing right here, namely, we are going to end up with this thing right here, we are going to call it i. i is now nothing but, well, natural log cubed, of x times x from 1 to e, and then negative 3 times going to bring this 3 to the front using the linearity of the integral. Integral 1 to e of, well, x and 1 over x is going to cancel out the natural log squared of x dx. Okay, you see, lower bound 1, natural log of 1 is 0, so this is going to vanish. Natural log of e is 1, 1 cubed is still 1, so this thing right here is going to evaluate to e minus 3 times. And once again we have to use integration by parts. So let's just change this right here into a 2. So a 2 is going to get dragged down, this is going to reduce to 1, and then we already came pretty far. Don't forget to drag your negative 3 into everything. So at first we have negative 3 times the natural log squared of x times x 
from 1 to e. Negative and negative is going to become positive. 3 times 2 is 6, going to bring it to the front of the integral. So positive 6, integral from 1 to e. 1 over x and x is going to cancel out to the natural log of x in the end. Dx. Same argumentation. Lower bound is going to vanish. Natural log of e is 1, so this is 3 times e. e minus 3 times e is negative 2 times e. So, our i is now negative 2 times e. And then we still have this thing right here. Positive 6 times this integral. And once again, integration by parts, so reducing this by 1. Natural log to the 0 of power is just 1. So this is 1 over x. So multiplying this together, natural log of x times x. And then the integral, negative the integral, of x over x is 1. So the final step is to just get positive 6 times natural log of x times x, 1 to e, and then a negative. And then we have 6 times integral 1 to e of dx. Same argumentation as before. This is 0 and this is just natural log of x, is, uh, natural log of e is 1. So this is just e. So we uh, 6 times e, negative 2 times e plus 6 times e. This thing right here is just going to be x from 1 to e. So we have negative 6 times e. This is going to cancel out. This is really good. And we have negative negative 1, you could say, this negative right here. So this is going to result in positive 6. So in the end, we are going to get that our i is now nothing but 6 minus 2 times e being greater or equal to 0 by our boundaries. And well, 2 is not equal to 0, so why not divide both sides by 2? That's equivalent to saying that 3 minus e is greater or equal to 0. And now we can just add e on both sides. So that's equivalent to saying 3 is greater or equal to e. And like I said, by our transitivity of this order relation, we also know that pi is now greater than e, and then we are done. That's quite a nice proof. My chalk fell down once again. I'm just not good at placing chalk somewhere, putting it. Now I stepped on it. I'm too stupid for this world. I just can bring chalk into a little equilibrium precision. Never mind. I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this first episode of Papa Flemish Advent Calendar, make sure to share this video everywhere. And also activate the bell button, please. That's really important. It helps the current YouTubers grow their channel and, well, involve their viewers more. Up until the next video, meaning tomorrow, have phlegm the day. See ya! Ganz genau, klasse Minu. Gut weggedreht.